Hey friends and family, welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy. And today I have for you a wonderful little surprise, a little bead haul I did over on Dee Dee's online beads because I wanted to check out, I've been getting their her mystery boxes, but I wanted to check out some other little grab bags that she has on her site. Um, her meaning Stella. Stella, the owner, who is super sweet, and um, I just love, I just love her site. I really love the curation she has, the imagination that goes into her boxes. So I wanted to check out some of the uh, other grab bags that she has available, and I thought I'd share them with you so you could see what it's all about. So I have a mystery, uh, mystery check glass bead bundle, and I have a mystery grab bag and then some things that I purchased. I messed up the the wrapping because I was too excited. I didn't really go into these. I didn't open these. I looked uh, and gasped. So get ready for some really great eye candy. But um, I thought we would just take each thing and look at it one at a time. I thought I'd start with, these are the bead bundles. These were $24.95 by the way. And then this is so cute. I love this sticker. Warning, opening this package will cause extreme happiness. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> well, this is the stuff I ordered. So we're going to take a look at that. Look how cute this is packaged. I love how she does her packaging. Um, it's just a treat to open. It's like a little party. A little party in your mailbox. All the way from Quebec. I mean, you can't beat that with a stick. Let's see. I think her logo and everything is super cute, too. I really like it. So, let's see here. Um, okay, this is my... So she gives you a very nice detailing of what you purchased. Okay. And this is what I was going to show you. Oh, oh, gee whiz. Dropping things already, guys. <laughs> All right. I think some of you have done shopping on her site before. I think I've seen that in the comments, but thanks so much for supporting small business. My French is terrible, but merci beaucoup pour votre soutien go au oh, petite enterprise. Okay, so Marcy needs to brush up on her French. <laughs> I did spend time in France when I was a little girl, two summers with some family friends. So I, when I buy by the time I left there, I was dreaming in French. I probably would have become fluent, but I I didn't stay long enough. But boy, those were two very fun summers. Lots of stories there, guys. But um, these are these cute flower beads and a couple of other little bellflower uh, check glass. Those are the freebies. So you get a couple little freebies. And all her information, too, is on here. The online shop, the Facebook group, um, her, I guess this is her customer service if you have questions, info. So yeah, love it. Okay, so here's what I purchased. Uh, I picked this stuff out and I'm, we'll go through it. Uh, I wanted to try, um, well, first of all, I had to get these again. These these were in the gypsy box. I think a few of you ordered these. You couldn't get the box, but you got these. I had to get another pair because I just think they're stunning. And I wanted to play with them some more. So I got some of those. And then I got, I'm not going to take these out, but I got these really fun sequins I thought would be cute. Either with polymer clay or... Um, glue them on some wood pieces or maybe just stack them as he-she beads. 
haven't really decided yet, but they were fun. I used to love to play with sequins when I was a kid. My grandma used to have a lot of sequins because she sewed. And she used to have a whole drawer of things like that that I used to love to play in. All right. Then I got some really pretty components. I got four. I think four comes in the... Let me look at the... Antique brass. Okay, so I think four come in, in, in order. But here they are. Super pretty. I love the detail. And those are going to be fun to make earrings with or a focal for a necklace. Very, very pretty chandelier. And I also got them in a bronze, antique bronze. So I have two of these. Four each. In the bronze, here's the bronze. Very nice. Love that shape. So, extreme happiness is occurring. <laughs> and then, I got some really pretty, I guess these are called melon, check melons. These are matte white copper wash check melon beads, approximately 20 pieces, and these are eight millimeter. So they're kind of that frosty color with the copper, as you can see. Really, really pretty. Nice neutral. And then I got one of her designer check strands. Let's see, this is Tiffany check glass strand. Look at that, look at that bead. And see, I picked these melon beads to kind of go, go with that piece. Oh my goodness, and you got the flowers, and these really pretty ovals. Oh, I love it. Some spacer beads, some nice hot pink, a little touch of hot pink there, that's really cute. So yeah, that's my designer strand. So those are these separate things I ordered. Now let's check out, so let's see. Let's check out the check. Let's check out the check glass bead bundle. And it says, a mystery for the enthusiasts. Look at that. I wish you could feel, this package was super heavy. My, my mom brought it to me in the living room and she said, oh, this is so heavy, it's a small package, but it's heavy. Oh, I missed something. I missed something, hang on. I knew I forgot something. I got a, a face bead, uh, pearl finish moon face resin cabochon. I thought that'd be fun to play with. I have ideas for that. Stay tuned on a future video. Okay, so here is the check mystery bundle. It is loaded loaded with goodies so i i just peeked i didn't open this so i'm excited it, like i said everything came so nicely packaged oh my goodness oh my goodness <laughs> look at this oh i'm happy girl okay so let's see here let me just start. Just grab one and start, I guess. Oh my gosh, you guys. Eye candy galore. Look at these. You see the spiral in those? The really faint. I love these. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna kind of move it around so you can see. It's iridescent. Oh. Those are cool. Where's the hole? The hole's up here. Oops. I do not want to drop these. If you can see the, it's right through there. Oh, there we go. So like little drops. Ooh, those are pretty. 
They look nice with um with these melon beads. Look. I love to get mystery bags. I just think you know, it's just I think it's stuff you put it's all pretty, first of all. Everything I've seen or glanced at is pretty. But it you may not pick some of this stuff on your own. I do encourage you to try mystery boxes. I think it stretches your creativity. And I, this is a very high quality one, I can tell you. So here's some more bell flowers. And boy, isn't this a gorgeous color. It's kind of a, oh my gosh. Wow, there's a lot in there. So you've got copper and a, a beautiful like Prussian blue. Look at that. Look at the copper in there. Those are gorgeous. All right. Oh, I love these. So these are some tulips in a pink with a, I'm gonna say AB finish. Look at those. Oh. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm. I think I'll put the light colors with the light colors. Okay. Ooh, here are some really pretty. Oh, these kind of coordinate with those blue. Nice little spacer beads. They're little. Are they cubes? They're little bicones with kind of a gold finish. But look at them. You know, orange and blue are opposites on the color wheel. Look at these next together. Very pretty. You get a lot of those too. Okay, let's see here. Oh my goodness. So, oh, she put some vintage. There are vintage things in here. So this is vintage. This is vintage Chuck glass and it is gorgeous. The blue and the yellow, I love it. Kind of an oblong shape with the melon kind of texture to it. Absolutely stunning. Perfect for summer. Love those. And here is some more vintage in a fun green. I've not seen these before. I've not seen these either. Look at these. They're bumpy. See the little bumps? And then I think the hole is, yeah, there it is. Those are cool, oops. Love that green. Love, love, love the green. So let's see. I'm just gonna. We're just gonna play a little. Okay. You know how I like to do with my colors. Oh, here's some more green. Oh, these are neat. So these are also a shape I haven't seen before. I love to get new shapes and check glass. And look at where the. Okay, the holes up and down. Look at these. Kind of twisty and frosty. Twisty and frosty. <laughs> wow, okay. And there's more. Wow, oh, ooh, these are, oh my gosh. Okay, I need to find more trays. These are luscious. Wait till you see these. Look at those. With the AB finish. And they're kind of triangular and round all at the same time. <laughs> kind of wavy, like a wavy chip. And the hole is, ah, the hole is at the top. So they're good for dangles, probably. There you go. 
Wow. Wowie wowie. I think I'm going to put the... Maybe I'll put these here. All right. I think I'll put the pink up here. I've got a... I'm running out of... Running out of... Trays. My trays runneth over. Oh, so here's another shape I've never seen. The check beads have come in so many shapes and so many colors and so many finishes. Look at these. Bless you. That was Ginger. They're both sneezing. It's almost a heart shape. It's, it's very subtle, but it's there. Or it could be a leaf. But I love the gold detailing. It's kind of a light bronze, clear, but with gold. Beautiful. All right. Oh, my word. Oh. <laughs> Every time I think I've seen something really stunning, something else pops up. This, oh my gosh. I think these are my favorites. Look at these. Look at those. Oh. They're flower shaped, but they're puffy. They have this beautiful iridescent finish and then they have the shinier iridescent in the grooves and then the holes are right there those are spectacular ugh I would cross the room for those for sure definitely and these little guys go great with them too ooh I'm gonna have fun playing with this all right, still got a few more bags here. So nice check. This is the check glass bead bundle. Uh, $24.95, I think it is definitely, oh my gosh. See, I see these in the bag and then I take them out and the light hits them and that's when I go, oh my gosh. So look at these. Ugh. Brown leaves with, again, an iridescent finish. And I love the detailing. Wow. So pretty. Okay. As I was saying, this $24.95 uh, is well spent on this check bead bundle. I recommend it. If you want to get a variety of things and a nice little surprise and get some things to play with that maybe you've never seen before, which is what I like about it. Look at these guys. So these are more bumpy and kind of a coppery finish. Oops. And I mean, you get a lot. Man, oh man. I am blown away. And well, last bag for the check glass, but certainly not the least. Oh, these are beautiful. Look at these drops. Half yellow and half blue. Kind of a mustard yellow and a teal with an AB finish. Those are stunning. I hope my camera's picking these colors up for you. I'm trying to move it around so you can see all the flash in these. Wow. Wowie, wowie. Woo. I just want to sit and, walk and look at it. That's what I might do tonight. <laughs> I do need to put them in something, so that's probably... <laughs> I have containers I can put these in, so... But um, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely a fun little pile of beads. And I got, I'm trying to empty these because we have more to go. I have a whole nother, whole nother mystery bag. 
uh, to go. So let's see. Oh, I found some more triangles. Okay, good. We'll move these up here out of the way so you can see the new stuff. We'll do a, I'll do a final panning over all of these, of course, when we're done. Now this package was super heavy. This is the uh, mystery grab bag. So it has a variety of things. It doesn't just have beads. It looks like it has findings and maybe some stringing material, uh, but it is heavy, heavy. So those bundles together, um, and the package was nicely, you know, nothing was broken. It looks like the packaging was very puffy. So it keeps everything from banging into each other. And, oh, uh, oh, happy day. <laughs> I just could giggle. <laughs> oh, wait, I am giggling. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Yay. Man, if I ever get to Quebec, I definitely have to stop in. I would love to see the store. All right. So, here, here's a strand of really pretty rondelles. Got some dark green, like an olive color kind of a light color and a mustard yellow. Too fun. These are great when you're using, when you're making your custom palettes because how many of you just go out and buy mustard uh, colored beads? You probably don't, but if you're trying to do a custom colorway like we've been doing in our last month's challenge, you might need some. Here you go. And they go beautifully with some of these things up here, too. All right, let's see. Oh, we got some stringing material. Ooh, we got some silk. Ooh. Well, I love silk. You know that. Really pretty neutral. Really be pretty with some of these check beads. We'll, we'll play in a, minute, in a minute, but it's a nice long one. And I, you know how I like to use fairy silk for, um, and sari silk to finish off necklaces. Feels great on the neck. All right. Ooh, these are cool. All right, let me get these open. This is going to have to go into some holiday jewelry, I think. These are some really pretty red with the clear around it, and then it's got speckles of gold. Feels very holiday to me. Like, look like little Christmas ornaments, doesn't it? Those are super vibrant and pretty and neat looking. Look like little bead cocktails. <laughs> All right. Uh, more findings. Oh, these are these will come in handy. I've actually seen people make earrings with these. But this is to make a multi-strand necklace, of course. Um, and there's quite a few in here. So that's awesome. This is not something I have. I don't know why, but I get a lot. She gives you a lot. This uh, mystery bag also is $24.95, by the way. And if she runs out, I think I saw where she had put it posted um, that they had restocked some stuff. Uh, I don't know if they're sold out at the time of this video, but it sounds to me like one, once they restock them, they let you know if, if they seem to be sold out. So don't give up. Give You know, keep checking. So here's some pretty ribbon charms, which I have several family members and friends who have survived breast cancer. So that is very meaningful to me. But it is a, it's not in, in a color, so you really could... You know, I know there's ribbons for different things, but that's nice. I like that. Okay. Ooh, interesting cabochons in kind of a caramel color with some really pretty, these are resin, but look at the pretty flecks in there. 
Those are cool. Really neat. And they do kind of look nice with with these um, rondelles. Or even these guys. See, I'm, I'm already playing. <laughs> Ooh, what about these guys? Ooh, look at that. Man. That is stunning. Okay. Love those. Mm. Oh, goody. So, if you saw my unboxing, uh, there were some bell flowers. Uh, really pretty iridescent bell flowers in the Crocus Blooms uh, box. And now we have some pretty frosted pastels in all different colors. Those will be very nice for spring and summer. Very bright and pretty. Oh, I love these. Oh my gosh. You're going to love these too. Look at these. They have pretty flowers on them. I love that pop of fuchsia. Be really pretty with some of the, pick up some of that blue and do a pretty necklace design or a bracelet. I love the hand painted feel to those. Get four of them. Very nice. Ooh, look at this. Nice big shell, dyed shell, in this really pretty hot pink color. That'd be fun to wire wrap around. Oh, more findings. I like that there's a mixture of things in this. These are bales. Oh, oh, these are pretty. Look at these. So I like the scroll look. So what you do is you, how does this work? I may have to play with that. I'll have to play with that, but they have the scroll work. You can hang whatever you're going to hang off of it. And then you can string it right there. And you could also go this way. Maybe it goes this way. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> Head it upside down. You do it this way. So this is where you hang. So you can fit. What's nice about this is beads will fit through there. You know, like if you do a small, a uh, set of pearls, it'll float. And then that bottom part is where you hang your pendant. So I had that upside down. Sorry about that. You know, you know, I don't know. I've never seen it before when I'm putting it upside down. <laughs> Those are cool. There are some that open though, but not these. These you, you string on and then you put your pendant. Okay, glad I figured that mystery out. <laughs> Ooh, I'm excited about this. So I'm so glad. Oh, th these are cool. So again, in the in the gypsy box, we got a bunch of those metal components. They got a ton of these, and they're look they're gonna look great. I'm glad I bought these again. Cause check it out, it echoes the shape. Oops. Imagine a bunch of those hanging from here. That'll be awesome. Most definitely gonna try that. These are very fun. These will be also fun at the end of a beaded, like a beaded fringe. You could do a tassel and have, and have a bunch of these hanging from seed beads. Those are very cool. Okay. Uh, here are some very pretty, so these are fiber optic beads, but they're um, matte. And they're kind of a dusty pink, and they're gorgeous. Look at those. Oh, man. You really could treat that as a neutral. Look at them next to this bronze. 
Oh, you know what else they look nice with? This uh, focal piece. Or one of these tulips. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my word. Oh my word. Wait till you see these. Oh my gosh. These are gorgeous. I love I love dragonflies, first of all. Look at these. And there's two of them. Look at that. Painted shell bead. The the holes go through this way. Oh man. Do I love those? Those are gorgeous. Look at these pink ones with that. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at the little green. You can pick up some of the green in there. Oh yeah, yay. I might be up late. <laughs> wow. Okay. And there's still bags, guys. I think this is well worth it. Ooh, this is see this is another another thing I probably would not purchase on my own, but I love it. These are some beautiful. I hope I can get them all on the tray. There's so many of them. Green and brown. You know, do you remember that woodland? I don't know, was a woodland mix that came from Jesse James Beads. If I have any extras, these would go nicely. But they're rondelles. They have half half green and half kind of a bronzy uh, brown color. I think of a forest. Like a lush forest when I look at these. Super pretty. And not something I would pick. But I'm glad I have them. Oop, I got a stowaway. I mean, escapee. Stowaway, escapee. Ooh. These are cool. So I know I've mentioned before that I like the cube, the cube beads. These are interesting. So these are like a very deep, looks like evergreen. And they're uh, matte. But they're in that crystal cube shape. Those are fun. They almost look like they're made out of stone. Very interesting. I have to think of what to do with those. But you get a lot. They would make great accents. I have to think about that. But those are interesting. Very deep green, it looks like. And there's more. <laughs> i got a few more bags here. Oh, these are pretty. Here are some very tiny rondelles. I think these are 3 millimeter. And a bunch of different neutral colors. Got a little bit of spring green in there. It's a pretty long strand. See that spring green in there? It's a tiny little bit of pink, a little bit of orange. Yeah, these are, I think these are three millimeter. Look at them with these cabochons. Isn't that pretty? Or these guys, these bubble beads. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. All right. What else we got? Oh, <laughs> uh, I wanted, you know, have you guys seen those uh, beaded? People make, and I'm not, I'm not a big spider fan, okay? But they make these really cool beaded spiders, some of these folks at um, Halloween. I'm not going to pull all of these out, but these are some nice long, um, I forget what they call these. Not seed beads, but fringe beads. I forget what you call them. Nice fuchsia. It'll come to me in a minute. And it's got the AB finish, and there's a lot. I mean, like, I didn't pull. There's a bunch more in this bag. 
But people make, like, the legs uh, out of these. Bugle beads. That's what they're called. Bugle beads. I knew I'd get it in my brain somewhere. Yeah. This would make actually a cute spider. And like I said, I'm not a big spider fan. I'm sure they serve an ecological purpose, but I don't want them in my house. And I darn sure don't want them crawling on me. But I wouldn't mind making a pretty one out of beads. Okay. Wow. So we got some big ones. Big, big old beads coming next. I would definitely... They'd be, these would be cool, you'll see in a minute, um, in a chunky, uh, chunky necklace, like with some wood beads and some big, like, metal filigree beads, because these are so interesting. They throw a resin, so they're lightweight, but they're big, but hey, sometimes you gotta go big or go home, you know what I mean? And I do like a chunky, a good chunky necklace. Some turquoise would be pretty with this. Look at all these beads I got, you guys. <laughs> like I said, an embarrassment of riches. And, you know, I understand now why the packet, it was little, but it was heavy. <laughs> Here are some really pretty off-white, uh, pearly, pearlescent rounds, if I can get the rest of them out of the bag. Lots of them. Also in a pretty neutral. I like the gloss on those. And they're going to look nice with a lot of things. A lot of things will go great with this. Ooh, they look nice next to these big old beads. And last but not least, you guys. These are cool. Again, probably something I would not buy on my own. I do believe these are also resin, or they wood. I can't think they're resin, but they look like wood. Look at those long beads. Those are neat. Don't be afraid to vary your size of beads when you're making things. Some big beads, some little beads, and some medium beads uh, in maybe the same tone in different textures can make a really cool necklace with just a little bit of like bling, like a little bit of rhinestone or whatever findings, you know, bead caps and things you're going to use can make a really big, uh, impactful necklace that'll go with lots of other things. And I, I like this color because it'll virtually go with everything. You know, we've talked about that before with the color theory, white and black pretty much go with everything. Well, your neutrals do too, you know, um, so don't forget the browns and the creams when you're designing stuff. So yeah, this is, uh, this has been a big old package of happy. Take a look. Look at all this. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not trying to make you dizzy. I know some of you get dizzy. I'm not trying to do that to you, but I mean... Absolutely stunning. Everything. I love it all. I can't wait. I need to find a container for this stuff. Because <laughs> I don't want to separate it, you know? There's so many things that might go together. Um, and look at... I just can't wait to play with this strand, too. I just love it. So, let's see. Maybe I'll do a week-long marathon of playing with my mystery boxes. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Maybe I'll do a week marathon of what I do with all of these. Uh, if Just like and uh, put a comment in the comments if you want me to do that. Because, I mean, I just get ideas galore looking at all this. And, uh, you know, a lot of this could coordinate. And then I'll pull other things in for my stash too, but um, there's such a variety here that you could just design for days. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments. Uh, a DD's Design Blitz. How's that sound? <laughs> I'm motivated, because this is all gorgeous. So, um, oh, I love that. I love that so much. Everything is beautiful. If you've not shopped there, check it out. 
I really, really, really like it. I like their mystery boxes, but now you've seen the mystery check and the mystery um, grab bag. So this gives you an idea of what's available over at Dee Dee's online bead shop. And do check out her Facebook, um, Dee Dee's Bead and D Stash. She does put a lot of announcements. I will put this in the description also, all of this info. Um, and she's a small business, so we got to support. You know we got to support small businesses, those of us that make jewelry and sell it. We are also a small business. So it's nice that we can support one another. And what I love about the all the bead companies that have these type of boxes, um, you know, you can pull stuff from other bead boxes, like the bar bargain bead box to go with some of this. Uh, you can pull Jesse James bead stuff that will go with this. That's what I do. I, you know, I love to get a variety. And then that way you grow your stash and you have a very interesting variety of things. Then you never know. You might, you might get something, like for instance, these guys, that maybe you don't use right away. But then, you know, Christmas comes around or another holiday or you get something that inspires you and you think, you know what? I got those beads that I didn't know what to do with. And now those would be perfect with such and such. So, you know... Don't be, um, don't be discouraged if you see something you maybe not have, would have picked. I mean, it's all beautiful and it's all high quality. So, you know, say you don't know really what to do with one of these cabs. Well, you don't have to touch it right away. Keep it in your stash and, you know, keep, think about it. And maybe something else comes up that inspires you to use it. So that's what's fun about these uh, mystery like stash boxes. I love to get a large variety of things to pick from because you just never know where your imagination is going to take you. So uh, with that being said, I am super happy. I'm really glad I did this. I'll definitely do another bead haul type thing like this on her, over on her shop uh, because every time you do this, you get something different too. They're all different. So very exciting. Uh... Like and subscribe if you haven't. I'd love to have you. And if you think you are subscribed, do double check. I do notice that, um, fa or not Facebook, but YouTube can kick you off the of stuff that you thought you were subscribed to. And I don't know if that's a glitch or what, but I hear a lot of YouTubers talking about it. So just check and make sure you're subscribed. If you want to be alerted uh, when I come up with a new video, you can click the remind bell or the notification bell. That's up to you. Um, but I sure do appreciate you watching and I love all the comments. I also have a Facebook group under Marcy Creates. Join us there so you can see what everybody's making and, uh, stay tuned for, uh, May's, um, challenge. It's going to be a month long challenge. I'll be announcing that next week. And with that, I'm just going to give you one last look at all of this gorgeousness. Now, this is a few things I bought myself. This is the check uh, mystery. What was it? The check. I got a check on the check. Check glass bead bundle is what it's called. And then the mystery grab bag. So the check is going to be all check beads, of course. There were some vintage ones in there, which was super cool. And finishes and shapes I'd not ever seen before, which I love. And then the grab bag just had lots of goodies, a wide variety of things. You know, you got some focal beads, some regular beads, some lucite, some, you know, findings, and some, some ribbon, bugle beads, nice variety. So check it out. Thanks again for watching. Take care of your sweet selves and your families. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow night for... I'm going to be breaking out the bargain bead box. I think it's called Spring Blossoms or something like that. And playing with a little bit of, you know, adding the color as we do. We'll do a little project. So stay tuned for that. So I will see you on the next video.